got him. And got some head shake, Mike Pelser. Oh my goodness. He's got some major head shake. Is that a crappie or a white bass? <laughs> it's a crappie. Oh, come here, baby. Come here. Come here, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Let's start the day out with one of them. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Love it. This time of day, catching fish like this, it don't get no better. Jig just fell out of its mouth through its gills. That's how light that they are biting. That jig didn't come out the front of its mouth. It came out the bottom of its gill plate there. And now I messed around and stuck him again. There we go. Yes, sir. Clear lake, baby. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one right here back. Fine specimen. I'm gonna save him. Save him. Let him go for somebody in the future. That's what it's about. It's about being outdoors, sharing this way of life, and getting more people on the hook. What's going on right here, guys? These fish are schooled and they will not hold steel. So instead of pitching where I'm seeing them at, like right there, I pitched eight feet to the right of where I seen them at because they're moving to the right and they absolutely will not hold steel. Uh, they are out here. I don't know what they're chasing because I'm not seeing bait fish. They're just out here roaming. Uh, so that's what I'm trying to figure out is what it is that they're chasing so I can try to get a pattern on them. See, those just went straight to the bottom. I bumped that trolling motor, they heard it, clear water, and now they're gone. We can drop a bait down there all we want and they're not gonna pay no attention to us because now they're educated. Now they know we're here. I think California knows we're here too, hence the toboggan. I mean, uh, uh, Indiana here has invaded California and there went our good weather. All right, we got a school up top at 60. We got something else. That fish that I just called, it come up from the top school, didn't yeah. it? Okay, let, let's go after the top school now. They're swimming away from us. They're swimming away, and I know that. that They look real pixelated, kind of like a checkerboard. It's because their fins are straight in line with that transducer, and all I'm catching is a head and a tail as they're swimming. That's why they look like that. So I'm going to have to throw my guts out to try to get out ahead of them to run the bait to you right on their head, Michael. If one of them will just turn and look at you, I'm coming in the front side there at 55 feet, right in line. I'd like to be up a little bit higher, but I can't reel it any faster. Thought I had one break school. Nope. All right, and them's moving too fast. I'm looking for fat, lazy fish, and them right there, they're doing their morning workout, so we gonna find some more. I, I ain't into them crappie running on a treadmill like that. Same deal as yesterday, 38 feet of water. Uh, it's one degree cooler this morning. It's 49 degree water temp instead of 50. Now down 10, 15 foot, the water temp probably ain't changed much. But up here on the surface with the air temperature, it went from almost shorts and t-shirt yesterday to Bibs and toboggans today. You that were way. close. Yeah. Right, you're going right through the middle. Here comes one. Come on, baby. Talk to us one time. Come on. He's still with you. He's doing that lazy, slow chase thing like a couple of the other ones did, but you got two of them now. They're backing off. They're backing off. I'm going to try to throw in them too. Now, Jeremy, for the audience, do you think that the storm that we got coming in here in the next two hours has anything to do with this? Uh, they know this storm's coming. It, it'll uh, barometric pressure and uh, temperature. They know the storm's coming. It'll either turn them on or turn them off. And this morning, it looks like it's turned them off. These are starting to move. There you are. 40 feet, 42 foot. Yep, coming right into them. These are uh, trying to be Olympic track record kings too. 25 over here now. So I'm just gonna pitch a little further to the left because I figured out that they're moving to the left. Try to get my bait down there and let it run into them and see what happens. 
Nothing. Nothing happened. <laughs> Did they run into it? Did they see it? Or? I come right through the middle of them. Yeah. And these are on the run, too, for some reason. I'm going to try to get out ahead of their face one more time. I'm going to run it through them. And if they don't pay no attention, then I'm moving on to the next. I went through the high ones first. Now I'm trying to go through the bottom part of that school. I've seen one something turn. turn. One following you. And he bumped it. Bumped it. And, and now he's going gone. back to the pack. These black crappie will only go so far from the school. And if they haven't bit in the first eight feet to 10 feet max from the school, they're going to turn and go right back to the school. And uh, they're going to be tattletales. They're going to tell the whole school, the whole class, what you just did. And now they're wise to you and they're going to run off. Now he's 35 30, feet yeah. from the school. And I just caught the trolling motor. You didn't get that on film, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Note the editor, uh, delete that, please. <laughs> I'm just joking. Use it. Hell, we're real people. Sometimes we do real stupid stuff. Just sitting there. God, if I had a cast net. <laughs> right. The hand grenade? You got a hand grenade? Is that what you said? Yep. Yeah. I'm coming right through the middle of them right now on nothing. There you are coming in on the backside. I got one chasing if you'll eat. Well, there comes three running at you. That one run pretty quick. That one run pretty quick. Mm, big one. He's not a big one. He's just a nice little fish. And it just broke my line. Oh, we need that jig. <laughs> yeah, we're using light test weight uh, because of this clear water and black crappie. Uh, the big heavy uh, is not going to work. So right now, I've got six on mine, and I think that's what you've got on yours. But after catching them big fish here yesterday, it's yes. time to retie. Yes. We should have done that before we got out here, but we didn't. And now it's cold and our fingers don't work real good. <laughs> yeah. Fingers are froze. I got that one. That's a good one. Good one? That's good. Remember, I got a line out there so it don't get tangled up in it if you bring it up the right side. It yeah. don't matter if you bring it up this side. Hell, if we get tangled up, we'll get him out. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. Yes, sir. That's a good one. That is a good one, boys and girls and everybody. Because if you crappie fish, that's a good. Ow! <laughs> he got you, huh? Oh, he did stab me the bone. <laughs> He's paying me back. <laughs>